Hey guys, Cindy Arter here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm actually doing pretty well. Um, today we're talking about Explorations of Me. I just love this little notebook and it's so cool. It's got so much stuff in it. Um, anyways, this is for September and what our topic is for this month is it says, these are actually the questions to, to um, explore yourself with. And number one is, are you aware of the people that you surround yourself with all right and are they uplifting and positive well there goes my puppy my husband opens the door um so yeah who are the people that you're you surround yourself with are they uplifting and positive or are they um you know drama and downers and negative and all of that think about it think about who is in your your area and ask yourself that question now what I'm gonna do is I do want to tell you a little story but I'm gonna do it at the end so in the meantime I've actually found my page which is here and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create my page and you'll see why because in the end I just wanna I wanna do a little bit of journaling about some of the people that um, I have in my circle in my group in my life that are uplifting and positive um, but the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the negatives I'm going to write down um, what I feel about like the drama and the downers and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to do that real quick and then we're going to get together and we're going to make a page and we'll go from there I hope you guys enjoy
All right, guys, so I've just been having a blast just playing with this page. Um, just to give you a little closer view of it. Yeah, I just, I enjoyed playing. <laughs> so anyways, um, like we talked about earlier, our topic is, um, are you aware of people that surround yourself with and are they uplifting and positive? And absolutely. Um, this little stamp that I put on here, it says, no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. And this is so true with the people that I surround myself with. Um, the first thing I'm going to mention, the first people I'm going to mention are people from my chronic pain group, okay? Oops. This one hasn't been used. Right, right, right. Let me get my pen writing. There we go. Come on. Okay, yeah. Every other pen works. Apparently this one doesn't. Let's try, let's choose this. Okay. And those ladies, just some of them, there's so many more on there, but Lisa, I'm not going to give out last names because I don't know if they, you know, want that. So, Gail, whoops. Looks like it says gall, but it's actually Gail. <laughs> Sorry, Gail. <laughs> Rose. Uh, Tori. Stephanie. Uh, Wendy. Barbara. Uh, Andrea. Uh, Allie, Diddy, um, Trina, Karen, and so many others. Okay, these are these people in this chronic pain group. Um, it's my group. It's called Art Play Through Chronic Pain, and the ladies that are in this group. Um, really know how to come together when anybody's having a really bad day. It's a place for private sharing. It's a place to help people when they're going through um, the rough times and even the good times. You know, we, we support each other with the good times as well. All right, I'm gonna have to find a different pen. I really don't like that one. Let's try another one, shall we? Um, what's this one? No. Apparently, I don't have any decent pens up here. Hold on, let me get a decent pen. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. All right, so I redid those. Now, um, this other person, I wanted to tell you a little story about her. Back when I got hurt in 2012, and after almost a year of just trying to figure out, you know, what I'm gonna do with my life and deal with the pain and all that kind of stuff, I started playing around with art. And um, I've always been creative, as you guys know. Um, I had a stained glass business for a while. Um, I've made dolls, all kinds of stuff. Well, I started drawing faces. And I ended up down in Port St. Lucie for a visit because that's where my in-laws lived at the time. And there was this little flea market slash market thing on the water. So I decided, we decided to go, we went, um, I walked around just a little bit and I, I met this, I hit this one booth and the booth, the booth belonged to, let me see, Sherry, I cannot pronounce her last name, Bogolo, it's B-O-G-L-I-O-L-I, -L -L -I. Boglioli, Boglioli, okay, her name is Cheryl Boglioli. I can't say it. Designs, right? So, I actually bought a piece of hers. Honestly, I'm not sure where it's hanging right now. I know I still have it here somewhere. Um, and I was talking to her about art. And she, I showed her my pictures. And honestly, now that I look back at them, I think, oh my God, what was this lady thinking? But she said to me, she said, I said to her, I said, do you think I should stop? She goes, absolutely not. She goes, you need to keep going. She says, you'll get it. Just keep going. And I'll tell you, when I left there, my head, I, I felt so lightened, like, oh, yeah, 
I can keep doing this. I can do this. I know I can do this. She just confirmed it, right? So I want to say thank you to Cheryl. Um, I still keep in touch with her every now and then. And it's just amazing how much that one person being positive and just being so nice about it has encouraged me to continue. I will never forget this lady. I love her to death. Um, I just, I can't say enough about her. From what she saw and what she said, you know, maybe she was just, I don't know, trying to be nice, but she was phenomenal. So one of my big bubbles here has to go to Cheryl. And I still cannot figure out how to say her last name. B-O-G-L-I-O. O. No, L-I-O-L-I. -L -I. That's just crazy. Designs. Um, again, I don't know if she'll watch this or not, but Cheryl... Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being the person that you are because that just, that completely made my art as far as mixed media. Your comments did it for me. Um, the other group, um, I think we can all pretty much um, know. Uh, there's many girls in the art community that support me and that are just so nice about things that they say and give me encouragement and give me tips and they're positive. They don't um, criticize in a nasty way. They're always just, again, uplifting. Um, if I have questions and they don't have answers, either I look for them or they look for them and we get those answers. If um, I have questions or need opinions, I know these people I can go to and I will get an honest opinion. So I'm going to start out, of course, with my dear friend Gina, my friend Carla, she's my buddy, uh, my friend Peg, uh, Vicky, Leslie, Shell, and I've got a few other names I'm going to put in here just because at the time I was writing this all down and going through this, um, these names popped in my head. Not that they're specifically involved with me. Um, one is Mags. This lovely lady always watches my videos. Um, um, Dawn. There's another one. I can't think off the top of my head, but I have so many ladies that leave comments and they're all encouraging and uplifting. And when you read those kind of comments, it just, it brings your whole spirit up and it makes you feel good, right? Um, now, another person that I'm going to put on here, he's going to have his own little bubble. And I don't know if you guys have heard of this kid. His name is Jonah O N. A H, and he's known as Jonah Hands. This kid is, I think, 11 years old. And let me tell you, that little guy is an expert in crocheting. He's 11 years old. He has won so many different awards and, you know, um, it's amazing. Go check him out on YouTube. And what I'm going to do is some of these ladies that I've mentioned here, I'm going to put in the description box their um, YouTube channels. And you can see what I mean about them being who they are. But this little guy, I don't know how I fell onto him, but um, he's just amazing. He is totally amazing. He can take a cro he sits in crochets without looking, and the patterns that he makes are just amazing. He's he does all these lace um, doilies, and he makes everything. He goes from toys to hats to blankets to you know anything shawls for his mom, um, jackets for his mom, anything. This kid can he he's amazing. He can crochet. But anyways, this is my roundup right now. There's many more other people in here. Um, you know, my sister, um, of course, my hubby. Let me write them down while I got them in here. Sista. I call her Sista. My hubs. Um, 
my in-laws at times. Um, will be, be very supportive. Um, who else? Positive people. Oh, my girls at the scrapbook, um, scrappers, scrapbooks by the sea. Okay, um, if you don't know, Scrapbooks by the Sea is an actual company that's here in Myrtle Beach. It's actually on the um, southern part of Myrtle Beach. And her name, the owner is Rayanne. And I've done quite a few things of art for her. Um, I made a beautiful um, mannequin, and she's got it hung up right over the register, and it's just gorgeous. But anyways, the gals at Scrapbooks by the Sea, we have once a month, we have a an... Um, art journal club and basically what we do is we go down and share our knowledge with each other and just play for the day and it's a lot of fun uh, who else can I think of I know there's many many more um, I just can't think off the top of my head right now who they are I know my hubs is my biggest supporter and positive person in my life um, you know, he's been with me through everything, and he continues to deal with me. I'm not sure why, but he does. All right. So, see, here I go again. I'm just kind of doodling on the page. But there it is. This is this month. I really would love to see um, what you create with this. If you don't want to create something, just write it right I, I, you know, uh, post on the Facebook page. Um, my Facebook page is Artsy Endeavors. If you look in the description box below, you're going to see my Cindy link tree. If you go into that, you'll see my Artsy Endeavors page in there. Um, and you'll also find the Chronic Pain group in there. But, you know, even if you just want to write a small um, posting or a posting on Facebook on the Artsy Endeavors page, that would be awesome. Uh, don't forget to check out the other artists we have doing this with us this year, and that is Gina B. Aarons, of course myself, um, Leslie McGrath, and Barbara. And for some reason I just drew a blank. Oh, Barbara Clark, sorry. <laughs> um, doing the art with us and going through each month and just doing a little bit of exploration of, of themselves. So, oh, I forgot my son. Ah, how could I forget my son? My son, Jay. How could I forget him? His birthday is tomorrow. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have had fun with this. Enjoy. Don't forget to check out the other artists and have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.